Kazuo Yomishima, one of the main characters from his own franchise since 1994, Tekken, has been terrorizing the upper level to top level of Ultimate's competition ever since his release as the 10th DLC of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although being a nice addition to the Smash roster, his design is one of the most talked about topic amongst other DLCs. Powerful combo routes and zero deaths, unchallengeable moves, crazy kill power. Kazuya is one of the deadliest characters in Ultimate currently, and very represented competitively. Characters like Kazuya are prone to specific counterplay to, at the very least, not die instantly. In this video, we'll be looking at some key points while looking at top level sets like Lima vs Wild from COS 2024, and other clips as an example of mastered Kazuya matchup, and to illustrate some of the major elements. Talking points will be characteristic of Kazuya as a character, neutral, pressure, edge guard, and common situations and info overall. Let's go over what characterizes Kazuya as a character. Auto turning is a staple mechanic of shadows ever since their first appearance in Smash 4 with Ryu. Therefore, making crossing up this character on shell with moves like Fair 1 or Fair 1, Fair 2, Fast Fall, challenging but not impossible. Although being way riskier against Kazuya than any other shadows in the game. His unique jump squad is an attempt at mimicking the way jumps interact in their own game, solidifying him as a very ground-based character that thrives on long stages with no plans like Final Destination. Although being a signature characteristic of Kazuya Mishima himself, it is possible to use it against him in very specific situations. Coming from a franchise known for its extensive move list, within Tekken 8 having close to 100 unique moves for Kazuya himself, it has been dialed down to 42 moves, excluding his pommel and his final smash, to make him feel as close as possible to his true Tekken self. Electric and Godfist, the Mishima signature move since the first ever Tekken game. This move being extremely strong and somewhat spammable is executed behind the forward, down, down forward input while pressing A at the same exact frame as the down forward input. It grants Kazuya upper to full body invincibility, making this move at times and for some characters impossible to contest or to counter hit. When blocked, this move pushes the opponent away and out of their shield, which is impossible to punish in a regular fashion. This move comes with its other versions. Demon Godfist, a wall standing move. Wind Godfist, a forward, down, down forward plus A input. And Dragon Uppercut, with forward, down, down forward plus hold A input. Rage Drive, his comeback mechanic inspired from the Tekken 7 system. Gives him access to buffed version of some of his moves. I will not cover Rage Drive since it's a bit long and has some condition on its functioning depletion, but you have access to its description and properties and details in the comment section below with links guiding you to the resources used for this video. Kazuya is before all a killing machine, and has a touch of death stronger than anybody else. This clip will talk for itself. So yeah, FD being banned, this is probably your next best pick, right? Yeah. Town and City, or you're gonna go with the Kalos here. Oh man, I... up the DI. Oh, left, right, left. Where are we going? Scoops! I think I know where we're going, Charles. Dealing with neutral against this character requires slow play and precise kind of hit play. There are two types of Kazuyas the IDJ Double Fair and Electric Queen Godfist Train, which means a lot of crouch dash and Electric Queen Godfist combined with a lot of shielding. Some of them will swap between those two types if they know what they're doing. Playing slowly allows you to notice those elements through pattern recognition and avoid them more effectively if they only play through one of those two. Against a good Kazuya, slow play and counter hit play are still what we need to focus on. Perfect turnaround down tilt is the best way to answer to Electric Queen Godfests to avoid finicky interactions where he is fully invincible. To do so, face towards the opposite direction and put your analog stick in the downward left or right angle depending on which side you are facing, and press A. Doing it this way will cut around 7 frames of turning around if you're doing manually and using the C-Stick. As boring as it may sound, you want to interact the least amount possible against Kazuya. While it doesn't necessarily mean to absolutely camp him, 
It mostly requires patience, precision, and pressing buttons only when it asks for it. Camping happens when a lead has been created through persons or stocks. The ideal situation is to be up a stock, and circle camp him and mix up through offstage camp, and corner camp with bullet climax. While Kazuya has slow options out of shield with up air being from 11, up smash and up B from 12, Nair and Fair from 15, Kazuya's would usually shield grab to lead into down throw, being his main combo throw. Therefore, Kazuya's tend to hold their shield a lot more than other characters for that reason. Also, taking in consideration the fact that shield simulator is a thing versus Leonida. To show pressure Kazuya, we need to apply the principle of defensive double swing setup. Applying pressure with a safe move such as Nair or back air can transition into a follower pressure tool like up tilt, down tilt, or ABK itself. If Kazuya is holding their shield more and longer than other characters, using back air into dash back into instant ABK as a pressure stream to shield poke is a viable and consistent way to pressure Kazuya out of his shield. Baiting him outside of his shield with Nair, Fair, or even back air into ABK can bait him into a shield drop and snipe him on his way, or immediately after the shield drop. As a character that doesn't have any good landing option besides down air and probably nair, Kazuya is really susceptible to being above Bayonetta. For that reason, mixing your pressure with up throw is reasonable only if they over respect your pressure. Taking unnecessary risks against Kazuya and being close to him for no reason is something to avoid at all costs. For maximum effect, juggle Kazuya from the side to avoid any trading with Nair, Fair, or getting hit by down. Devil Wings, up B. As a massive hitbox on startup, and challenging Kazuya up front during edge guards is extremely risky and gives you little to no reward. Although, this can be bypassed by changing the angle at which you want to face him. Shark him at almost a 45 degree angle to push him back with witch twist and force him to use more resources like his jump and her dodge to reset the situation, to either get a better scenario to attack him or to simply kill him. Once jump becomes the predictable resource, depending on the situation you are in while edge guarding, Shark him with Witch Twist like previously explained and gain height by jump cancelling the second Witch Twist and reversing it to jump back here into his jump before he can act out of it. It must be noted that Devil Blaster, neutral B, can allow him to stall offstage when a high recovery is being done, which could give you an opportunity to strike and, once again, either reset the situation or go for the kill. If you're not familiar with Kazuya, knowing how to recognize some of the situations you are in can be the difference maker between instantly dying and surviving a quasi-inescapable demise. A major situation to be aware of is platform combos, also known as Furp Stack, named after its creator. While putting you in a tech chase situation with Devil Fist, Side B, or Demon God Fist, or any other move covering your option selection of choice during the situation which is pretty much an actual Oki deck in style, guessing correctly and picking the right option is what allows you to survive. Think of it as a snake down for guessing game. If you want to know more about this specific interaction, there are resources in the comments section explaining this. Rage Drive can be depleted by using Bullet Climax on and off stage, from the corner on stage. Dragon Uppercut hits you from a ledge. Electric Pink God Fist can be SD either up or up in to avoid follow ups and trigger bats within when being used as a combo follow up. While being used as a kill confirm, it becomes a 50-50 between back air and up B. DI in for back air and DI away for up B. Demon Godface can be fully SDI in to get behind it. Double Nair offstage is not true on Bayonetta. Bayonetta can crouch under Wind Godface and Electric Godface. Using Witch Twist as a planking tool from ledge is a good way to deal with some of Kazuya's attacks as an attempt to ledge trap or to simply get off ledge. Obviously, there are many other interactions that are worth mentioning, but it would be simply way too long and actually overwhelming. These are essential pieces of information that could and would help you on a first approach on how to deal with Kazuya.
I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you've actually learned something. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and tell me in the comment section what you think of that type of informational video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.